Book Club, hey everyone, Dan here from One Man Book Club. I've got a special book for you. Uh, this is really, really a sweet book. This is called Sweep, The Story of a Girl and Her Monster by Jonathan Oxier. Uh, <clears throat> it's another one from, uh, it's a middle grade story and it's another one from middle grade author extraordinaire, Jonathan Oxier. I've been, I've been pouring through his books last few weeks and I'm just totally digging what he's able to do because it's so hard to find great middle grade books. There's uh, either some that are too simple or too complex for their audience. And it's a, it's a tricky age because there's such a disparity between eight-year-old reading ability and 12-year-old reading ability. And there's a whole gamut in between. So writing a story that's within the reach of the weakest but able to hold the interest of the strongest takes just a really, really special skill. So when I come across an author who uh, and, and their stories who you know, like hit that sweet spot, I make it a point to celebrate them. And uh, that's what this is. Jonathan Oxier describes himself as an author of strange stories for strange children. I love that. He has found the sweet spot. Um, so let's celebrate Jonathan Oxier and his wonderful middle grade stories. This one, Sweep, is a bit of Hans, it's a bit of a Hans Christian Andersen fable set in a Charles Dickens Victorian London. It tells the true story of the time period's orphan chimney sweeps who were held as indentured servants and forced to climb through the inside of chimneys, both big and small, with their brushes, cleaning soot from chimney flues to prevent fires. These sweeps are not singing chim chim tree though. There's nothing lucky about them and there are not many appier blokes than these children. If you're claustrophobic, this book might trigger cold sweats. It's a primer on the grim reality of Oliver Twist's London and I learned things I didn't know before. For example, it wasn't until the Chimney Sweepers Act in 1875 that marked the end of children being forced to work as sweeps. In the author's note, Oxier explains that this act proved a bellwether for child labor reform in other industries, paving the way for changes throughout the industrialized world. And he points out that every person today who grew up with a free education and worker protections owes a debt to the children talked about in this book. Really, really neat. So the story is about Nan, an 11-year-old orphan chimney sweep. And through flashbacks, we learn about her past and her father, who she simply calls the sweep. The sweep protected her, taught her, and loved her until he vanished one night when she was only six years old. He left her his hat and a small piece of char with dimples and marks that made it look like a face and always felt warm in Nan's pocket. And these two things became Nan's only treasures. Now, when a sweeping accident gives her an opportunity to escape her servitude, she takes it, although it means living in hiding and fending for herself. But how did she survive an accident that should have killed her? Is that face on her char? Is it coming alive? Sweep is about deep friendships, learning that you need people around you, serving others, looking past soot-covered faces to see real people, nurturing and being nurtured. It's about growing up, it's a heart-tugging story of deep friendship set amidst the adversity of survival, and it teaches in beautiful ways about the kind of love that leads us to make sacrifices for others. You can be a light when it is dark. You can grieve, but endure. You can despair, but still love. You can hurt, but still sacrifice. In every fragment of sadness, there remains a glimmer of hope to cling to. The lesson is this, profound love is what transforms our existence into a worthwhile adventure. One of my favorite lines from the book, we are saved by saving others. Keep tissues handy for this one, guys. But the tears are gonna be the tears you are happy to cry because of the, the things you've learned and the people that you've met and the lessons they taught. This is an easy five stars. No content concerns, but the claustrophobia triggers are real, so watch out for that. Happy reading, everyone. This is best for 12 and up, Sweet by Jonathan Oxier.